Hi everybody, uh, gonna do a little something different today. Uh, I've had a problem, maybe it really wasn't a problem, but I talked to a friend of mine, Chris, today about what, what should you do, and his input really helped. I'm gonna try it right now. Uh, the problem, first of all, was uh, I'd have him retrieve. He, he's real excited, he comes back hot. What I mean is he charges me with the dummy. And he'll run by and, and do a circle around me. And then, hey, nobody said you could move. Anyway, uh, he'll run around a circle and then come around and, and give me the dummy. Kind of he'll be behind me and then I'll give it to me finally. Uh, so I talked to Chris and I was like, what would you do? He says, use a fence as a backer or something. Uh, simple, very simple. I don't know if I would have thought of that, but it's just that easy. Make it to where you can't run around behind you. So let's give it a try and see how it works. Come on, Millet.
Okay, the whole idea of this video was to give you young dog trainers confidence to ask questions and how to do it. Be very specific about what is going on, what your problem is. Otherwise, you get this huge gamut, wide range of advice that is too much to digest. Keep it simple, K-I-S-S. -S. Keep it simple, stupid. Uh, little baby steps. Nothing too fast, nothing too major. Every time you train, pick a little thing that you want to work on. Today I wanted to work on getting him to come strain and give it to my hand instead of doing the whole run around thing. We had 100% success, all thanks to asking a simple, well-worded question and listening to the answer. Uh, thanks, Chris. I was wondering what the heck to do. Uh, it, it's that simple. Use the fence. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. GoPro, stop recording.